So Tamworth's top scorer from last season, Kyle Finn, sends this one in towards the far post. Headed down and it's in! Jordan Colliday Lyberg heads powerfully down into the back of the net to give Tamworth an early lead on eight minutes. Fantastic corner from Kyle Finn. Found the towering head of Colliday Lyberg at that back post. It's Tamworth one, all the shot nil. And yeah, that's the early goal we were talking about. But I do think they're struggling to deal with the way that Tamworth are playing. And I think a lot of teams that come here will do. And like I said earlier in the commentary, we're lucky to only have one point so far from the two home games. But uh, all the shot I've got a threat now. Long range effort. Jazz had to watch it. And just to really reiterate my point there, Jack Barham with the shot, who made a little bit of space, chopped inside, very central from about 25 yards and hit a low shot which you'd uh, fancy Jazz Singh to make that save, Stu. But um, nonetheless, it came very much out of nothing. Tamworth has certainly been the moments where there's been warnings that all the shots are certainly capable. No, oh, absolutely, there's I been warnings, yeah. There's certainly more to come from them, I think. It's important that Tamworth do keep as much of a grip on the game as they can, and I think that second goal would be really important if we can get it. Here's Tay Tech, bouncing through, prods it through, chance, and that is the equalising goal. Well, no sooner had I said it, I think it's Jack Barham that it smashed is, it yeah. into the corner past Jazz Singh, who had very little protection at that point. Lovely play by Taytek, who uh, showed great strength in the middle of the park there and then prodded it through. Clever measured pass, right side of the six yard box. Four Some players are out there, you look, they can see they're busting an absolute gut constantly. But he's not that type but he does possess a lot of quality, as we found out on Saturday, with that equaliser against Boston. Tamworth again keeping this alive. Now here is Chris Ray. He'll look to take the shot on now. Across the goalkeeper, into the far post. Dewsbury, no chance. Tamworth two. All the shots and one. There's that early goal in the second half, Ken, that I said we needed. And we've got it. And now it's all about learning from the mistakes we made in the first half, of not hanging on to it. And it's likely to be here at the Compare Build Stadium, which really suits the way that we play. But every player out there now has got to put an absolute shift in to really do exactly what they've done there with Morrison now. Deflection through to Shakuna. He's got a little bit of space. He'll try one. Beauty! Nathan Shakuna rips the back of the older shot net. It's summer three. All the shot down one. And we said earlier, and to numerous times, Stu, Shakuna does not score simple goals. No, he doesn't. And there is that third goal that we were speaking about. Uh, he had the run of Chris Ray in front of him. He chose to. Gander back to Manese. That's an awkward ball across, actually. Eventually, Hargreaves scampers after it and regains possession. Back across the older shot back line where it finds Bird. That's given away again by Bird, and Tom with pants on it with Finn. And Ray is setting Shakuna as a chance for four steps inside Shakuna, saved by Dewurst. Really a great chance for Tamworth and Nathan Shakuna. Hopefully that won't change now from a Tamworth perspective, but those all the shot fans behind the goal at the Meadow Street will be obviously hoping that things are going to change for them. And there's genuine hope now with the amount of time that is to be added on. Again, a cross comes over, it's a chance, it's over the bar. And that was a chance. The number 21 there, um, Ashley Akpan, who's headed it a couple of feet over. You'd have to say, Stu, if that goes in, it's a different game. Yeah, it's game on then if that does go in, isn't it? Throw kind on. of an impact. And it's a, a more defensive player, Jack Moore, coming on as a right back by trade, replacing a winger in Kyle Finn. Shakuna now with the free kick. Curls in! Oh, just over. Well, <laughs> he's Not always going to take it from there, isn't he? Not far away at all, was he? Not again? far. Nathan Shakuna. I would make Nathan Shakuna. I would say that Dewhurst would would have that covered really if it's just a bit low. No press as yet. Bird back to Widrington. Strokes it across. Finds Cameron. Into Corbett. Building towards the edge of the area. Corbett wriggles through. Shot over the bar. Well they were patient there all the shot and arguably the best bit of football we've seen from the shots in the entire 90 minutes in terms of short one-touch passing, working the way through. 
and actually, in all honesty, you've got to say that's probably the first time that Tamworth have been doing. Five years done, following Tamworth as well. Quite possibly. It's still, if uh, all the shot can get a goal, it's uh, very much his squeaky bum time. Henry strikes, great goal, right in the top corner. Brilliant strike, absolutely pinpoint accuracy, and they do get a goal back. It is Tamworth three, all the shot town two. Game on, Stu. Yeah, it still is a tall ask for all the shot to get anything. You know, with that free cat that's throwing quickly, so it is a yellow card, obviously. There is the full time whistle, finally, Mr. Ely blows up after 21 minutes of added on time. Tamworth win this one this afternoon. Three goals to two. Tamworth get their first win of the National League.